Hey guys, I just wanted to drop by and share this short word with each one of you. As you can see, I'm in the driver's seat of a vehicle and I just wanted to quickly drop by and let you guys know this. See, even if I have the best vehicle in this world, uh, the state of the art with terms of the technology, nothing can match to it and I can have a vehicle, I spend a huge sum of money, I can have any vehicle on planet Earth, but if I don't have fuel, I cannot use it. You get what I'm saying? Uh, fuel is so important for the vehicle to run, right? Um, the same way, you know what? You can have the best skill set. You can have, come from the best family line. You can have the best manufacturing uh, in the sense that, you know, uh, in terms of your background, in terms of your upbringing and everything is the best. But the problem is if you do not have the fuel for your soul, you will not be able to sustain. You'll get burnt out. You won't have the strength. You'll grow weary and everything is going to be in a very bad shape right uh it's not an accident that the name of my podcast is fuel for the soul because i believe that as much as people take care of uh fueling their vehicle they are not fueling their own soul and that's why they are not able to sustain they are not being efficient and they're not able to live the life that god has created them to live today i encourage each one of you under the sound of my voice to make it your commitment to fuel your soul that means to feed on the word of god and also to to, uh, spend time with the Lord and most importantly Ephesians 5:18 is a word I want to share with you guys where the Bible says be filled with the Spirit the uh, Spirit of God is so important and if you want to live the life that God wants you to live you need to be filled ever be filled with the Holy Spirit of God and that is what I want to challenge each one of you to take that commitment on a regular basis to be filled with the Spirit of God on a regular basis. It's not a one time thing. Some people just think that, OK, you know what? I gave my life to Christ and my life is uh, done, you know, or I got the baptism of the Holy Spirit and that's it. No, it's not a one time thing. I can't just put fuel when I buy the vehicle and never put fuel ever again. No, every now and then I need to keep uh, filling in the fuel. And that's the thing you need to understand. You need to keep filling in with your, with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit on a regular basis. Spend time with Him. Have that fellowship and that communion. And that is what will really make the difference in and through your life. And that is when you will see that efficiency in your life as well. Because the Bible says, with, when Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. In other words, you cannot be the best on your own. You can do nothing without, you know, the presence of God, the fuel that you need. And that's why I want you guys to understand that you need the manufacturer, the presence of God in your life to make the difference. And that is found in the person of the Holy Spirit who's living on the inside of you. So always be filled. And I'm sure that you you will see the difference in and through your life as well. So that's the short word I wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, you can have any vehicle on earth, the best, and you can pay a huge sum of money, but without fuel, it's useless. Same way, you know, you can be the best in the world in terms of every other way, but if you don't get yourself filled with the Spirit, you will not be as efficient as you can be. And that's why it's so important that you take the time out to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And that's the short word I wanted to leave with each one of you guys. Um, do like, comment, share, subscribe, check out my daily podcasts and the other podcasts and my books and all other details. You can connect with me through the uh, social media and uh, all details, including my website are all in the description. Thank you so much for dropping by and I will see you back very soon and God bless you. If your heart stops beating now, do you know where you're going? If you came face to face with death now, do you know where you're going? And this is not a message of condemnation. This is a message of hope. There is a God who loves you so much. He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to come down and pay a heavy price by shedding every drop of His blood on the cross. Thank you for dying for my sins. When you believe in Him, you have free gift of salvation for you that assures us that we will go to heaven when we die instead of suffering in hell forever. I just encourage you today to make the simple step of faith and say, Jesus, I thank you for what you did on the cross. Thank you for giving me this gift of eternal life.